वेलकम बैक वी आर हेयर विद सेवेंथ ऑफ फेबरी स्कॉल यू बेसिंग सुप्रीम कोर्ट फादर वॉन्स एस टू बिकम अ हीरो एक्टर एंड प्ले अ पार्ट एंड अ स्पेशल पार्ट ऑन दिस अनलिमिटेड स्टेज एंड दैट इज ओनली पॉसिबल वेन वी रिमेंबर वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज अ पर्पज ऑन दिस अर्थ सो वी कैन एक्सप्लोर दिस पार्ट एंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज अ पर्पज एंड हाउ कैन वी प्ले अ हीरो पार्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ प्लेइंग अ वेलेंस पार्ट एंड एक्चुअली not being happy or peaceful or joyful throughout a life that's what villains feel for the moment they feel happy for the moment they feel victorious but over a long period of time they feel as if they've lost everything the whole energy spiritual power and energy is gone so god here says may you be a hero actor and play your part your special part on the unlimited stage with the awareness of your elevated life what is that elevated life As soon as Father Brahma gave birth to you children, now he is not given us a physical birth; he is given us a spiritual birth. That means he is given us or chosen us for the spiritual knowledge. He also gave the blessing of may you be pure and may you become yogi. So without being pure, you cannot become a yogi. By having lustful thoughts, by having greedy thoughts, by having disturbed thoughts, or by looking down upon others, you can never become a yogi. that means somebody who is having connection with god in the form of your senior mother he sustained you with love for purity as soon as you took birth why senior mother because brahma ma so god father through the body of brahma adopts brahma as his first child and also as his first companion to spread the knowledge all over the world so brahma becomes a mother and god father becomes the father father and mother so and that is on a spiritual basis not on a physical basis by the way he sustained you with the love for purity as soon as you took birth he constantly made you swing on the swing of happiness and sang you daily lullabies to make you into embodiments of all virtues lullabies are the knowledge and also wake up my child is amrit vela it's brahma murat embodiments of knowledge and embodiments of happiness and peace embodiments of knowledge and also happiness and peace you elevated children of such parents are brahma kumars and kumaris so god and brahma there are fathers two fathers one is a father of the soul and other is a spiritual father of humanity you children you elevated children of such parents are brahma kumars and kumaris keep the importance of this life in your awareness and play your special parts you your hero parts on the unlimited stage that whose child am i whom am i representing and when we understand that who am i representing automatically we behave in that way like right? just like if you remember your father is a minister or your father is a police officer or a army officer or your father is actually showing that he is a doctor or somebody then you behave like that or you show yourself like okay i'm the child of so and so so when you think that i'm a child of god and the spiritual child of brahma then you behave like a brahmin and that's what god is trying to tell us that think about how are you supposed to behave and act in this world and that is the learning from today's blessing what exactly does it mean to behave as brahma and behave as godfather with divinity and purity so that we have happiness and peace is what you going to learn in brahma kumari's godly spiritual university with this om shanti